Hey guys, it's Mr. Finn. I'm back in the lab for another episode of Finzix. Uh, we're, today we're discussing Newton's second law. Well, actually, we're discussing how it relates to a subject that we've already talked about, the subject of free fall. Free fall, as you remember, is anything under the influence only of gravity. So here's my question for you today, my friend. It's a question we've already considered. This question is this. I have a bag of dominoes. I have a single domino. If I drop the bag of dominoes and I drop a single domino, which domino set, the single or the bag, hits the ground first? And why would that be? Oh, I know. You already answered this question a few weeks ago. Yes, I know we have. But we're trying to explain it using Newton's second law and not Galileo's interpretation of free fall. So, let's try it. Well, before we do this, let's investigate the types of things we might be thinking about Newton's second law. All right, let's take student A. Student A is saying, well, Mr. Finn, this is obvious because the bag of dominoes is heavier and isn't a larger force going to be a larger acceleration according to Newton's second law? I mean, the second law says F equals MA, so a bigger F means a bigger A. Brilliant, brilliant, my friends, brilliant. Student A, that is a smart person right there. All right, what about student B? Student B, ah, model, we make a mistake. No, it's a single domino, Mr. Finn. The single domino hits first. And why is that? Because it has less inertia and therefore will resist change least. In other words, it'll start getting going. It doesn't have any resistance to change. It's like this thing. This is like a heavy man. This is a perfect fact. So this thing's going to get going quicker. And obviously, it's going to reach the ground first. Ah. Student B. That's a pretty good point. You got a point there. Let's see what happens. All right, you ready? My friends, you already knew the answer to that. The answer, of course, is they hit at the exact same time. Aha, to avoid of resistance, all things fall at the same rate. And a medium totally, well, we're not a medium totally for domain of resistance. We just didn't give that resistance time to act. Therefore, it's a tie score. Now, why is it a tie score? First of all, let's pat ourselves on the back a little bit. Because if you chose one, you probably were right. Because they both had the same time, so you didn't lose. Okay. Well, let's see. It's a tie score. You're all correct or you're all wrong. Whatever you decide to have that as a uh, way of looking at it. But here's the lesson of the day. Lesson of the day at the LOD means... The larger force also has the larger mass, so the ratio is G. What? Remember, acceleration is net force over mass. The net force over the mass will give you the acceleration. So, what about the net force? Well, remember our diagram. Ball falling. The absence of resistance just has one force on it, its own weight. Oh, and we know the definition of weight. Weight is mass times gravity. So if we use the big one, we've got big weight over mass. Yeah, mass is big. Let me draw a big M. So that would mean that big MG over big M is equal to A net. All we did was stick weight in for F net. So that mass cancels, and I'm left with simply G. Wow. Well, wouldn't that be similar to the small one, too? I mean, little F net, I'm drawing a little F, even though that's kind of funky, over little M will be equal to A net. But F net is still weight, so I'm going to draw a little weight there. 
little weight over little mass. What's little weight? Little weight is mass times gravity over little mass. Therefore, mass cancels and you're left with G. A net is G in both cases. The larger mass also has the larger force, or vice versa. The larger force also has the larger force. And the, re the remaining ratio produces G no matter what. Now, my friends, we will learn in a few minutes that air resistance can play a role in that. And if air resistance gets in the way, then you've got some different physics going on there and it has to deal with F net. The denominator remains unchanged, but F net is going to change. So we'll talk about that in a few minutes. All right, guys, that'll do it for now. Have a great day.